seven kingdoms united in fear of Tyron Lannister. It's a rare enough thing, a man who lives up to his reputation. Tywin, son of Titos of House Lannister, Lord of Casterly Rock, Warden of the West. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Your mother's dead. Before long I'll be dead. And you, and your brother, and your sister. It's the family name that lives on. It's all that lives on. Not your personal glory, not your honor, but family. We spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your back, doesn't it bother you? Kingslayer. The Kingslayer! Kingslayer! Get in here! Here we are now. Two Kingslayers. The lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. You're blessed with abilities that few men possess. You're blessed to belong to the most powerful family in the kingdoms. And you're still blessed with youth. And what have you done with these blessings? Huh? You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. Wine! What about Aerys Targaryen? What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? Burn them all. Burn them all! Burn them all, he kept saying. I need you to become the man you were always meant to be. Not next year, not tomorrow. Now, the future of our family will be determined in these next few months. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years. Or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. I am the King's Hand. My place is here. Thank you, Your Grace. Did you know your father? I did. I watched him grow old. He loved us. He was a good man. But a weak man. A weak man who nearly destroyed our house and name. This will be my last war. Win or lose. They have my son! You're my son. My son. You are a Lannister. Lannister. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live. And I brought you up as my son. Because you're a Lannister. Any man who must say, I am the king, is no true king. The king is tired. See him to his chambers. My father is probably the most powerful man in the country, certainly the richest. He has all seven kingdoms in his pockets. Now, I have seven kingdoms to look after. Everyone, everywhere, always has to do exactly what my father says. You'll marry Sir Loras. You can't mean it. You can, and I do. Joffrey has made this poor girl's life miserable since the day he took her father's head. Now she's finally free of me. Give her to me? That's cruel. Even for you. No, I won't do it. But you will. I am Queen Regent, not some brood man. You're my daughter! You will do as I command, and you will marry Loras Tyrell. What another word. My children. Explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. So that's why you did it? To save lives? To end the war, to protect the family. I'm in this world a little while longer. To defend the Lannisters, to defend my blood. The Northerners will never forget. Good. Let them remember what happens when they march on the south. Good man does everything in his power to better his family's position. I will, regardless of his own selfish desires. <laughs> Idiot, help your king! Wait! I did.
did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand live whores. I demand a trial by combat. Tyrion may be a monster, but at least he killed our father on purpose. You killed him by mistake, for stupidity. You're a man of action, aren't you? When it occurs to you to do something, you do it. Never mind the consequences. Here they are. He loved you more than anyone in this world.